Good evening. My name is Caleb with a K, and I'm here to tell you that you should be reading DC's Far Sector. And if you're not, well, you're uncultured swine. Hey, uh, you shouldn't call my viewers uncultured swine. I disagree. Strongly. Also, you might want to explain your very bold claim. Fine. Also, the suit's a bit much. You've got to be kidding me. This is a classless channel. That's better. But what were you drinking anyway? Oh, that was a screwdriver sans vodka. So just orange juice? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, overly blown, facetious intro out of the way, let's get started. When my local comic book store reopened after the initial lockdown, I wanted to throw a couple extra bucks their way. So the first time that I went in there, I looked around and I picked up the new Green Lantern book that I had been eyeing for some time. Far Sector, published under DC's Young Animal imprint and written by N.K. Jemisin and drawn by Jamal Campbell. This follows Jo, a Green Lantern in her first year, stationed at a distant planet called the City of the Enduring. The city is made up of three distinct alien races, all of which have their emotions stripped from them at birth in order to maintain peace. The system has worked for 500 years, but a murder has occurred. And right when I got done reading the first issue, I was like, all right, yeah, this is good. I'll read the next one, see where it goes. Might not pick it up and put it on my pool list, but I kept reading it. And then I got to the end of issue three and it transitioned from being a pretty good comic book to, oh, you should read this. Like, you should read this. <laughs> and I should keep reading it. As the events around the murder come to light and the situation escalates, protests begin in the city. This is not something that the leadership is used to, and so they make a bad call and order officers to fire on the protesters. Joe sees this and stops it, but that comes with consequences. Over the next couple issues, we start to understand more about how this is affecting Joe and her backstory. I won't get into all of it here because there are several different layers to it, but the basic gist of what you need to know is that she is someone who looks for ways to improve the world. She has tried several different ways. One of those was being a cop on Earth, and it came with all the baggage that that implies. After reporting her partner for excessive force and being tagged in a Black Lives Matter post on Facebook, she is stripped of her badge only to then be found by a guardian who gives her the Green Lantern Ring, leading us up to where the story is now. Now, I was reading these issues the same time that protests began. I read about these protesters as I was out marching in protests. So obviously, this meant something to me. I saw my own reality reflected back. And of course, this was all written before the death of George Floyd, which has sparked all these protests. However, this isn't a new problem. And that has been extremely helpful to me because as I have been thinking about what's going on in our country right now, it's been useful to turn to a piece of art one that's beautiful, that has complex characters, that is entertaining and funny and intriguing, has sci-fi elements that I love to dig into, but also reflects what's going on in the world back to me. So that I have a channel to think about these things, that my mind isn't just going off in a hundred different directions, that I have a lens to focus in with. So I am recommending this to everyone, so I guess I should say if this is a good uh, point of accessibility for people who are not familiar with the medium of comics. Ultimately, I don't know, because that, that ain't me, Chief, but I think it's pretty accessible. The panel layout is pretty clear. You can follow it without getting lost on the page. The art is able to catch uh, expressions really well without being over-detailed to the point where it overwhelms the reader. And I feel like you only have to have a base knowledge of Green Lantern to get into this. It doesn't get into the history or the continuity of the DC Universe because it's separated from all that stuff. So if this does intrigue you but you don't know who the Green Lanterns are, let me fill them in for you real quick. They are a space police task force type 
you know, superhero squad. They go around the universe protecting people. They have rings that are powered by their willpower, uh, and those rings can make them fly, give them strength, and create constructs. They're overseen by a race called the Guardians, and that's about it. The comic does a fine enough job in every other regard, letting you know what you need to know to enjoy the story. Of course, if you're not a fan of sci-fi, if you're not a fan of superheroes, yeah, you probably won't like this. But if you are interested in those things, I think it's worth giving a shot. So, Far Sector, I recommend it to all. And will anyone actually watch it based on this video? Probably not, but I kind of just wanted an excuse to talk about Far Sector. And once again, if you don't, you are uncultured swan. My name is Caleb with a K, and I'm here to tell you that I can't get my button unbuttoned. <laughs>